Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video that I'm going to be doing for you is a drugstore and Sephora haul. I'm going to be showing you a few of the things that I got um, at the drugstore. Um, I'm not going to remember all the prices, but um, and then I'm also going to show you things that I'm really excited about. Excited about the yeah, that I got at Sephora. So, if you're interested in what I've gotten, please keep watching. Okay, so the first things I'm going to show you, um, they're going to be from the drugstore. They are from Walgreens. I live like a block or two away from the 24-hour Walgreens, so it's really convenient. Okay, so the first thing um, that I got is um, some moisturizing conditioner from Hask. It is the macadamia oil. Hydrates and protects, and um, it is free of sulfates and parabens. So... I believe this was like $4.99 for this bottle right there, and this usually lasts me about the whole month. I don't really use a lot. I, only, I use it mostly on the ends because my ends are really damaged from doing a lot of heat. So um, I use this while I take the rest of my shower. You know, I shampoo my hair and then I rinse that out and then I put this in and just do the rest of my wash the rest of my body. And then at the end, before I get out, I rinse this out, and it smells so good. It smells. It is macadamia oil, so it smells really, really good. So yeah, I've been liking this for the past um, three months now. Like my hair, um, I have to change my shampoo and conditioner often, like every two to three months, because my hair will get used to the same product, and then it will start not to work for me anymore. So I always have to switch it up. Okay, and the next thing that I got is my dry shampoo. This is one of my holy grails that I've been mentioning in other my, my other haul videos. Um, I always have to get a new bottle because it is the winter time so I don't really wash my hair that often. You know, I wash it at least once or twice a week and then I condition it the rest of the days. And then when I really don't want to wash my hair but it still smells good, I just want to use some uh, dry shampoo. Refresh and revive hair without water. So yeah, this is the new. This one has no residue because I've tried all the other drugstore brands and I've tried the expensive brand too and they tend to leave a little bit of residue. Like when I spray this in my hair, I can't even do... I get really oily around my hairline, like all around my hairline, even the back. And in the middle, like my hair starts looking flat and everything, so that's, the, that's where I spray. And it doesn't seem to leave any residue whatsoever. I think this was about two to three dollars at the drugstore so I really really like it and it smells good too it doesn't smell really bad it doesn't smell like all the rest of the ingredients that it has it just smells really good I don't know it says um, salon proven to refresh as well as carotides, carotides or something yeah and it's for all hair types so yeah this was like three or four dollars and I really enjoy it I've gone through so many bottles and the next thing that I got is a Qi heat protectant 44 iron guard thermal protection spray paraben f and it's paraben free also um, I think this was fourteen dollars I know this is a lot but um, the previous one in my that I showed in my previous haul which is the keratin complex thermal shine you really gotta be careful with this one especially if you haven't washed your hair because it'll make it really really oily like I don't know sometimes I almost burned myself be last yesterday when I curled my hair because I sprayed this up in my ends like from the mid shaft to the, to the ends and I was curling my hair and it slipped it kinda slipped out of my hands and I almost burned myself so um, I don't know I don't really like it I mean it's not bad the smells not bad but it's just the fact that it has that oily residue that's what I'm not looking for in a heat protectant I'm just looking for the heat protection not so much of the moisture and things like that so I got this one this one is also $14 the same as this one so I'm going to try it and see if you guys um, have any heat protectants like whether it's drugstore or um, 
whether it's high-end, just let me know because I want to try them. I want to try different ones to see which one I really, really like. But I'm going to give this one a try. So, and I'll let you guys know in my other videos, if I do another hair tutorial, I'm going to all let you guys know if this worked for me or not. And of course, you guys have seen this in my other video, I get that, um, I always like, I wish they had these like in a bigger bottle so I don't have to go through so many of them. Yes, they're like two bucks, but I'd rather just get a big bottle and just have it last me the whole month. Because I go through these like a lot, every two weeks I have to buy, I have to buy new ones. Um, it's the Hask Macadamia Oil Revitalizing Shine Hair Treatment. This is what this is what you put in after you take your shower with your damp hair. After you towel dried your hair, you put this in, and then you just let it air dry. I don't. Or you, could, if you blow dry your hair, it's really good for smoothing it out to give you a smooth blowout. So um, I don't really do that that much because of time. Because I'm a mommy, so I don't really have time to do that. So I just put, after I took a shower, I towel dry my hair, and then I just put like a quarter size of this all over my hair. I don't put it much at the roots, I just put it from the mid shaft to the ends because that's where I need most of the moisture since I do a lot of things to my hair. Straighten it, curl it, you know, all that good stuff. So yeah, I really really enjoy these. Like I said, I wish they had a bigger bottle. That way I don't have to go through these so much. And of course I also got myself some scrunch some um hair ties. I, re I read the scrunchie. Um, from Scrunchie. Yeah, these are the 70 pack. The Comfort Classic. They don't have any metal on them or anything. I go through these like every two months. Sometimes almost every month because I just leave them everywhere. Like, I don't know. Like, I get a pack of these and by the end of the month, they're gone. Same thing with my um, bobby pins. I don't know. Maybe I leave them everywhere or whatever and whenever we go to clean up or we move things, we switch, my husband and I will switch the room around somewhere, then we find them. But um, he's, we were at the store and he's like, you might want to get some of these because I don't want to hear you complaining that you don't have any. So I bought myself another pack. Like I go through those all the time. And I also got myself some um, brow gel. Um, I was going to get myself some tinted brow gel, but the one that I have from Maybelline that I've showed in my, in my other previous videos it has that little ball. Maybe I can show you guys. Let's see. It has that little ball, and I really don't like it because I don't have thick eyebrows. I pretty much have to fill mine in, so I don't really enjoy that. It's right here. Yeah, this Maybelline brow drama in the deep brown. See, like I don't, I don't really enjoy that. Like I get brow gel all over me so like I just I just fill in my eyebrows with matte brown eyeshadow a couple shades lighter than my natural hair color so um, I just do that and then I've I've been wanting to tame them a little bit because sometimes they'll the powder will go places you know throughout the day so this will set them so I think this was like $1.99 from Wet n Wild so yeah I'm gonna definitely try that today and other things that I want to show you, um, I did go on my trip this weekend. We all went, my, my in-laws and my husband and my baby and all my sister-in-laws, we went to my father-in-law's um, Christmas party at the National Guard in Stockton. So we went over there and I was looking for something last minute because I didn't want to take all of my brushes because they didn't fit. You know, we were only going to be gone for a day and a half, so I didn't really need that much. So um, I got these at Walgreens also. I think this was like ten dollars, but um, it comes it comes in a pack of like five. Um, it has like a little eyebrow brush, but it's like straight. I didn't really like that one. It's not angled like the one that I really have. So um, I gave that to my sister-in-law because I don't really like it. Anyways, and then I got this powder brush and this blush brush, which is also good for contouring. So um got these little brushes and I also got a little eyeshadow brush to where you can pack on the eyeshadow. So yeah, this was um, $9.99, almost $10 with tax and all that, but these are really, really soft. 
They're, I think they're from Studio Beauty. I think well, uh, Walgreens has Studio Beauty brushes. And they're really soft. They're just as soft as the Real Techniques brushes that I have. So um, I really like that brand too, and for and for cheaper price. So yeah, I got these and other makeup items that I also got. I got the Maybelline Master Prime pri Primer. Primer and base. Blur and smooth, it says. So it's like this. Um, I tried it and it's okay. Like it blur it blurs like my little pores right here. I don't know if you could see it. I didn't see it, but um it blurs like I have like big pores from here. Just here and here. Basically kind of like in a triangle motion like right here and here that's where I have big pores and that's the only thing that it helped with but other than that my makeup didn't really stay like it started separating and it's just I don't know maybe I'll give it another try maybe I'll give it, give it another try maybe I should do like a first impression video and then let you guys know how um, it works throughout the day and see how if I really really like it if not I'm either just going to go return it or give it to somebody that would really like to try this. Because um, another thing that I'm going to mention right now from Sephora, I really, really like. So I can't wait to show you that. Okay, other things. Sorry, my bangs are in the way. Other things that I would like to show you also that I got is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick. And the shade Matte Classy. I don't know, I've been into like the nude, nude lip colors, like I'm so over like, I don't know, I go through phases, like sometimes I'll do like the deep reds and the deep purple vampy lips and then I'll go just for the reds or just go complete natural and then sometimes I'll just want to do nude, all nude colors. So I don't know, I just go through those modes. Apparently I'm having one of those modes this month, so um, it's more of like a pink kind of like a mixture of like a mauve pink I don't know let me swatch it for you I have the other swatches the lady at Walgreens was really being really rude today like I was searching for a red lipstick because I'm gonna do a holiday look I want to be filming a holiday look for you guys and she I was looking at the shades of every line and she's like well, you can't use them as testers. If not, I'm not going to be able to resell them. And I was like, excuse me? Like, she was so rude. Anyway, this is like a mauve pink color. I don't know. It's got a little bit of purple in it, too. I thought it would go good with my Jordana Easy Liner and Rockin' Rose, but it's a little bit more pinker than that because this, this might look pink to you. It might look the same, but it's not. Um, in real life is actually a little bit darker see it's just a little bit darker than that so I put this on and then I put this over and I didn't really like it so I had to find something else which I did I found um, another lipstick from Milani in the shade matte naked so it's like this I'll swatch that for you this is a little bit more of a nude with not much of the pink tones in it so this one goes real I'm wearing it on my lips right now so yeah this one goes really really perfect with the Jordana lip liner don't get me wrong I'll still use this I have another lip liner that would go good with this but um not with this one it just made it too pink Okay, some other things that I'm really excited about. Yes, I was able to get high-end makeup. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm drinking my um, iced coffee right now. Mm. Anyways, <clears throat> I bought the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Yeah, I bought it in the sample size, like in the little mini size, because I wanted to try it out, because the original one was like $32, and... I'm like that. Like whenever I go to high-end stores like Sephora or Ulta or 
you know, I just I just want to get like the little size just to make sure, okay, you know, I'll try it out and then maybe I'll like it and maybe I'll go back after I finish this and then get the bigger size. So, so far, I love it. After I put on my moisturizer and I wait for that to dry, then I put this on all over my face. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells, it smells like it has all kinds of oils in it like I don't know it's just and it's it is oil free it says silicone free alcohol free and oil free so it doesn't make me greasy throughout the day I love it it like mattifies my makeup you can use it in three ways like it says it's a primer of, of course because it says a primer water or you can use it after and you can use it after when you do all of your makeup and just set everything and then you could use it throughout the day just to refresh so I really, really love it. I think this was like $16, $17 for this little bottle right here. So yeah, I'm going to really like try it and use it up and then I'm going to go get the big one. So this is what I was just waiting for because I'm really excited. It just feels like so smooth. Like whenever I put my foundation on with my beauty blender, it just blends it so well and it just makes my face look airbrushed. Okay, the next thing that I'm excited about too is the Smashbox, Smashbox Full Exposure um, Eye Palette. Um, it comes in this little box right here. So, this was a little expensive. This was like $24, but um, they were trying to sell me like the bigger size for like three more dollars, and it didn't even have any of these shiny, um, you know, these shimmer shades in here so it comes with with eight shades it comes with um, all these um, shimmer shades and then it comes with all the all the um, matte shades so um, you could tell I probably used some of them I've used this shade right here and this shade and this one for the inner corner and oh my gosh they are so good like even I've even used this one for my brows this matte shade right here and it's amazing it stays on so let's see if I could swatch that for you like you don't even have to like push or anything like oh my gosh it's similar to my Urban Decay Smoky Smoky palette so this is also good for this one I also got for um the trip to Stockton because I just wanted to take some eyeshadows but I couldn't decide what I wanted to fit in my purse like I only wanted like mini size things so I decided to take this and this was great like I had all kinds of eyeshadow combinations that I can do so yeah these are the shimmer shades and these are the you might not be able to see this one but and these are the matte shades. It's so similar to my Urban Decay Smoky palette. So I thought this was so cool. I'd just slip it, you know, into my little makeup bag and carry all those little brushes. It was so cute. So yeah, this was $24.99, I think. $24 something. But it is worth it because you could just take it on the go, or if you need to like at school, like I want to take a little bit or just retouch a little bit of my eyeshadow or whatever, I just stick it in my pocket, you know, in my apron or smock or whatever, you know, or just keep it in my purse and just keep a little brush and just re retouch or whatever. So, yeah, I really, really like it. Um, another thing that I'm going to talk about that I'm really excited about is the Sephora Multitasker brush they, in a mini size. It's so small. It is so small. Look at that. This was $14. Um, it's worth the price because I took this on my trip too. And I put my foundation in here. And it's just, oh my god, it blends your foundation so well. It's kind of wet right now because I just washed it. But um, it blends your foundation so well. And it is so soft. It is so, so soft. Like, I wanted to get the bigger size, but I didn't have time, so I just wanted something a little small and quick to just put in my purse or whatever, and it, it just blends it so well. Not good for blending my concealer, though, because it, le it, le it leaves it 
Ugh, I can't talk today. It leaves it kind of streaky. So, I don't know, like, like when I try to pat it in or something, like, I, I just like to use my beauty blender. But if it's good for foundation when you're trying to buff in foundation and you go on a circular motion, it's really, really good for that. So, I thought this was another good buy, too. And I don't know if you guys know, but my birthday is 10 days away. I'll be 22. It's on the 17th, and when I went to Sephora and I was ready to check out, um, I I do have a Sephora card with them, so I use my card, and um, they gave me this birthday gift. It's the NARS Sephora Beauty Insider gift. It says, Happy Birthday, One Year Boulder. And I said, but it's not my birthday. They said, well, we do birthday months. So anybody who has a birthday in December and they purchase things here and you have a card with us, we'll give you a month a, a um, birthday present for the month so yeah it's two lipsticks they do need to be sharpened I think this one is in the shade Cruella so it's like this matte red shade Let's see if I can swatch it so it's the top one right there it looks kind of pink on camera, but it's not. It's like a really, really matte shade. I mean, it's okay. I would like to put this under a lipstick or, yeah, under a lipstick. You know, put this on first and then the lipstick so it won't transfer as much. And I think this one is in the shade Rikugin. It's R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. Rikugin. It's a satin lip pencil. These are satin. No, this is a matte. Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is matte. This red shade. And this is a satin lip pencil. It's kind of like a pinky nude also. So let's swatch it up here. Yeah, it's a little bit more glossy. A little bit, it glides a little bit better. It's this shade right there. So yeah, that's what I got for my birthday, I guess. For my birthday month. So yeah. Um. That is all for my Walgreens and Sephora haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, let me know of any other high-end products that you guys have tried. I will be able to um, find them and see if I like them and purchase them also. You know, I'm really, really excited. I remember on my first video, if you look back, I had nothing but drugstore products. But now... Um, as life went on, you know, and my husband's working, I'm able to purchase, you know, and I make money on the side too. Like, I save up all of, um, you know, like, all the little money that I have extra, you know, for the month, and um, I'm able to buy these things. So, I'm really, really excited. So, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video in my next video. <laughs> Bye.